Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petrito, and today we're gonna make a whole bunch of tissue box covers. Check it. So today for Christmas, everybody in my family is getting a tissue box cover. So I got a couple cases of tissues and we're gonna make a wood cover out of hickory and walnut. So we're gonna head on over to KenCraft and go pick up some wood. Let's go for a trip. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna resaw everything over at the bandsaw, run it through the planer, chop it up over at the miter saw, and then cut everything to its final length over at the table saw. Here we go. I have set my blade to 45 degrees. We're gonna do miter corners on all of this. And now I'm moving my fence over so it almost hits the corner here. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna kind of round that over with sandpaper at a later date. So now we're gonna run all of these through, both sides, cut 45s and glue them up. So now it's time to cut a groove in the bottom of all these pieces and that groove is going to hold a 1 8 inch piece of plywood. I have my blade set to about half the thickness of the piece and my fence move over about 3 16 of an inch. So this is 1 8 inch plywood. I'm gonna cut it down to size. That's going to fit into the grooves. And looks like that'll work. A couple of these, because it's hickory, they have these knots in here. We're gonna fill it with some total boat epoxy. Mix this up real, real good. We are gonna darken this up. So then we're just gonna dribble that in there. Totally gnarly. I'm gonna start gluing this up. I have my four pieces here. We're not gonna use any clamps. We're just going to use tape. And so we have long grain to long grain instead of end grain to end grain. And we don't have to do any reinforcements on these joints. That'll be super strong. I'm going to put a little chamfer on the bottom here and that's going to create a little shadow line to give it some space from the table that it's going to sit on.
So now that we have all of that routed, I'm just going to round over the top so there's not that, that very harsh edge so it's more pleasant to touch, like me. All right, so I got this piece of three quarter inch walnut. We're gonna use this for the top. I don't want it three quarters of an inch thick. I think a half inch thick will work fine for these boxes. I could just plane it down, but I think I'm going to resaw it first and that's gonna give me a thin little veneer that I could use in a future project. Save the wood, respect the walnut. Scrap walnut, you don't have to respect. So we went ahead and cut these up over at the table saw. They are square. The Kleenex box goes into the holder like that. This is just going to sit on top of the box just like that. No joinery, it's not, not gonna be attached. No magnets, no LEDs, no fanciness. It's just gonna sit on top. So now we're gonna cut out all the pockets using easel and the X-carve. I'm using double-sided tape. I have, I made a little wall here a little guide, a little jig, so I can put all the pieces in the same exact position. That is gonna fall on there just like that. All the tops are cut out, we're back over to the router. Now I'm going to round over the inside and then I'm gonna chamfer the outside. You wanna do the end grain first in case there's any tear out and it'll clean it up when you do the long grain. So that tear out will clean up on this. All good. So this is Simple Finish made by my friends at Maker Brand. This is not sponsored. This is my first time using it. So this says to apply a heavy coat, wait 15 minutes then apply another coat and you're done. Hence the name Simple Finish. I wanted to keep this project simple so I could batch out as many as I could in one day. I purposely have the grain running vertically instead of horizontally. That way we have long grain to long grain on the miter joints and we don't have to reinforce them. If we had the grain running horizontally, we would have end grain and we'd have to reinforce that with splines. So a couple of design choices I made was to chamfer the bottom so when this sits, there's a shadow line along the base. And I also chamfered the top piece to create a nice transition transition from the walnut to the hickory. It darkens the outside and creates that beautiful transition that I'm looking for. You can see what it looks like when I flip it the other way. It's more of a hard edge where this kind of softens the look and creates that bridge that we're looking for. And as you can see, this top just sits in there. It just sits on top of the box. There's no reason to fasten it down or anything. And the tissues pull out just fine. Yes, I use the CNC and no, I don't care if you don't like CNCs. The reason I have a CNC is for exactly this purpose of batching out repetitive tasks. If your CNC is out of service, you could easily drill a hole and cut that out with a jigsaw or you could cut the two halves on the bandsaw and then glue them together. The beautiful thing about woodworking is there are many ways to perform a task and you get to choose the one that's most satisfying to you. Don't let anybody ever shame you for the method that you choose. All of this beautiful hickory and walnut comes from my friends at KenCraft. You can check them out at KenCraftCompany.com. They are located here in Toledo, Ohio, family-run business and great friends of mine. I will have plans for this on my website at MakeSomething.tv as well as other plans, books, t-shirts, and stickers. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.